Hello everyone, here I am doing exercise 1.3, fifth question. Chapter is integers of class 7. The question is, find the product using suitable properties. So, they have given a few questions here. We have to use the properties like closure property, commutative property, distributive property to solve them. And the first question is here. So, let me run on the first question. So, it is 26 multiplied by minus 48. So, if you see here, we have minus 48 two times. Like on on uh, like we have a plus sign between and on both the sides we have minus 48. So here we are going to use a distributive property because it's like a into b plus c. So when you open this bracket it will be like a into b plus a into c. So if you compare here the right side of the this property is what they have given the question. You can see that a which is minus 48 is present here like in the question which is minus 48 because it's presented two times right and b and c will be the other two values that is 26 and uh, c will be minus 36 so we have to use distributive property to solve the first question so it's very easy whenever you see a same number twice like on both the side of the plus sign or the minus sign then we have to use a distributive property so let me write down the question here so it is 26 multiplied by minus 48 plus minus 48 multiplied by minus 36 so i'm going to take minus 48 outside so we have to use uh, they have given the right side of the property we have to use the left side of the property that is a into b plus c so we have to just substitute there in place of a i'm going to put minus 48 in place of b i'm going to put 26 plus in place of c it will be minus 36 and then that's it we have to solve the right side part so it's minus 48 we're gonna uh, write down it's like plus into minus is minus so 26 minus 36 now subtract it we'll get minus 10 like 26 minus 36 is 10 but 36 has a greater its sign is negative so minus 10 multiply them we'll get 480 and minus into minus is plus so it will be plus 480 that was the first question now the second one now in the second one if you see we have only three numbers so obviously we cannot use a distributive property in distributive property you're gonna have uh, four terms where you can easily identify but the exception cases are there which i'm going to show you in this questions okay so the number is 85 8 into 53 multiplied by minus 20, 125 now they're asking us to use a property and do it so we don't have a property where there are three numbers right what i'm going to do here is we're going to use a commutative property we're going to multiply in a such a way that the multiplication will become easier so instead of multiplying 53 and minus 125 we're going to multiply 8 and minus 125 so what is commutative property commutative property says that you multiply it anyway that is a into b is same as b into a it is 2 into 3 is same as 3 into 2 so i'm going to rearrange the terms here so i'm going to first take 53 and minus 125 in a bracket i'm going to use a commutative property i'm going to rearrange the terms so 8 into it will be minus 125 multiplied by 53 that is b into a it was given a into b i'm writing it as a b into a now i'm going to open the brackets it's 8 into minus 125 into 53 now i'm going to take 8 and minus 125 so this 8 into minus 125 is easy to multiply instead of multiplying with 53 so I'm going to put a bracket across 8 and minus 125 and then multiply it by 53. So when you multiply these two numbers that is 8 and 125, you will get the answer 1000. So since it's a negative sign there, so you will get minus 1000 because 125 is a negative sign. Now multiply these two numbers 1000 into 53 which will be 53000 and since it's a one negative sign so minus into plus is minus. So minus 53000 is the answer. Now that was a second question we'll go with the third one now so if you see the third question c that is from c we have a four terms but we cannot use a distributive property here in distributive property you're going to have a plus sign or minus sign between the two terms but it's not given so we and we have to multiply so we cannot use a direct multiplication because we have to use a properties here we're going to again use a commutative property means uh, I'm going to arrange the terms in such a way that multiplication will become easy. So first I'm going to multiply 25 and 4 because it the answer is 100. So multiplying with 100 is easy right. So I'm going to first consider minus 25 and minus 4. 
into minus 10. I'm just multiplying them here directly. I'm not using commutative property here. So it is 15 into, when you multiply this, we'll get 100. Minus into minus is plus. So we'll get plus 100 here. And then multiplied by minus 10. Now you can multiply in any way, like you can multiply this with 15 or you can multiply this with minus 10. I'm going to take 100 and minus 10. So 15 multiplied by 100 into minus 10, which will be equal to minus 1000. So 15 multiplied by minus 1000. So this will be equal to minus 15000. This is one negative sign, so minus into plus is minus. So you may think that ma'am we have not arranged it like we have not taken a into b as a b into a but that's fine since we're not multiplying from the starting we're multiplying the middle two terms and then we're proceeding right so we're using commutative property then the next one the problem d which is minus 41 multiplied by 102 now we don't we should not multiply directly so we're going to use a property if you see here 102 i can write what i can write 102 as 100 plus 2 yes so one is 41 into in place of 102 i will write 100 plus 2 now i'm going to use a distributive property so it's like a into b plus c if you remember the distributive property we have used for the first question it's a into b plus c so we have we got the left side of the property we have to use the right side of the property which is a into b plus a into c so on the right side of the property we have to just substitute the values and that's it so in place of a we have minus 41 in place of b we have 100 in place of c we have 2 so open the brackets and just multiply so minus 41 multiplied by 100 and then close it and then we have a plus sign so put plus sign and again minus 41 multiplied by 2 so this is equal to so when you multiply we'll get minus 4100 then plus when you multiply minus 41 and 2, we will get minus 82. Now, if you see here, both integers have a same sign, negative sign. Whenever you have a same sign, we have to add them. Or you can do one thing. There is a plus and minus sign, right, in the center. So, plus into minus is minus. You can do in that way also. So, minus 82. Now, they both have a same sign. So, we have to do addition. So, it will be 4182. And the sign will be of a number which is greater. So, 4100 is negative. So, it will be negative sign. Then, the next question which is problem E. Now, if you observe the problem E, it is like uh, we are using a distributive property. We are going to use a distributive property there. But, if you see here, there is a negative sign across uh, for the number 625. So, but the 625 which is there in the first term, the first term, it, it doesn't have a negative sign. So, what we are going to do here, we are going to just rearrange the signs here. So, we are going to use a distributive property which is A into B plus A into C is A into B plus C. So, they have given the left side part of the uh, property. We have to use the right side now in this, in the property which I have written here. So, 625 multiplied by minus 35 plus minus 625 multiplied by 65. So, this negative sign over here, I'm going to put this for the 65 instead of uh, keeping it for minus 625. I'm going to put the sign for the 65. It will not going to change the value because the whole, when you multiply 625 and 65, the whole answer will be negative, right? So, I'm just changing the sign. I'm going to, I'm going to put the sign to the 65. Now, you can see I'm going to use a property because 625 is positive. So, substitute in the right side of the property. So, 625 multiplied by in place of B, we have minus 35. In place of C, we have minus 65. Now, so 625 multiplied by. So, we have minus 35 and minus 65. They have a same sign. So, same sign as you have to add it, we'll get minus 100. Now, multiply them, you'll get. 62,500 and they will negative sign because plus into minus is minus. So this is the only one thing you have to remember in this question this is a negative sign. So you have to just remove it and so that we can apply the property. The next one that is problem F. We have 7 into 50 minus 2. Now again we are going to use a distributive property but it will be like under subtraction. We have a minus sign here. Before all the problems we had a plus sign. In this problem we have a minus sign. If the property remains same, only thing is in place of plus, we're going to put minus. So, it's A into B minus A into C. It's like you're opening the bracket. That's it. 
Now we're going to substitute the values in the right side of the property. The property which I have written here, I am talking about that, right side of the property. So in place of A, we are going to have a 7. In place of B, we are going to have 50. And in place of C, we are going to have a 2. Substitute them, 7 into 50 is 50, minus 7 to the 14. Subtract them, we will get 336. And the answer will be positive uh, because 350 is greater, its sign is positive. So that was easy one. The next one, problem G, which is minus 17. Multiplied by minus 29. So again, you have to use a property here. So here, in place of 29, or you can even do it for 17. It's completely on you, but your answer will be same at the end. So this minus 29, I'm going to split. So I'm going to write this as minus 30 plus 1. Okay. I remember, this negative sign is for minus, uh, 30 because the overall the sign is negative, right? So, if you put minus sign to the 1, but 1 is smaller number, when you subtract it, you're going to get 29, not minus 29. That's why you have to put negative sign to the 30. Now, open the bracket. Apply the distributive property. So, minus 17 into minus 30 plus minus 17 into 1. Now, when you open the first bracket, when you multiply 17 and 30, there are two negative signs. So, minus into minus will be plus. When you multiply, we'll get 510. And minus 17 into 1 will be minus 17. Next, 510. So, plus and minus signs are there. So, plus into minus is minus. So, minus 17 will get. When you subtract this 2, we'll get 493. Now, the last problem, which is uh, minus 57 multiplied by minus 9 plus 57. Now, if you see here, we have only three terms, but there's a plus sign between. So the chances we have to use a distributive property here. But in distributive property, we have a four terms, but here we have only three terms. So what we're going to do here is, since we cannot change the value of the number, I'm going to multiply the 57 of which is on the right side of the uh, of the addition with one, so that we can apply the property. So this will be, and we have a negative sign for the minus, like in the first 57 is negative, the second 57 is positive. So we have to even take care of that. So this will be minus 57 multiplied by minus 19 plus 57 multiplied by 1. I'm going to multiply this with 1. Because it will not going to change the value. 57 multiplied by 1 is 57 only. Right? Now if you see here we have minus 57 minus 19. And here we have only 57. So I am going to just multiply the signs. So it will become 57 multiplied by 19. Because minus into minus is plus. So I am going to multiply the sign. Why I have multiplied the sign is because I want 57 both 57 to be positive. Or either to be negative. So I made it positive here. And now we can apply the property. So it will be like A into B plus a into c so a which is common in the both the brackets it is 57 so it will be a into b plus c substitute the values in this right side of the property and then we're going to get the answer so this is equal to a value is 57 so 57 multiplied by b plus c so b is 19 plus c will be 1 so 19 plus 1 is 20 so 57 multiplied by 20 now multiply 57 and 20 and that will be your answer. So you multiply it. So you will get 1140 as an answer. I hope this question is clear. In case you have further question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.